So if this uh, is a neutron and this is a proton, if you bring them together to make a nucleus, then they release energy and they get lighter. They get lighter. The combined proton and neutron nucleus is actually lighter in mass than the individual neutron and proton was at the beginning. And the difference between the mass of the nucleus and the mass of the individual nucleons, neutrons and protons, is called the mass defect. Heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter, heavier, lighter. And the mass that is gone actually turns into energy. And that's what the, I set my hair on fire. And that's what that was, energy being released. So looking at the helium nucleus on the left of the balance and the four nucleons that make it up, two protons and two neutrons on the right of the balance, you can see that the nucleus itself is lighter. And by looking at the table of the fundamental particles in the data booklet, we can do the calculation. So I've got two protons and two neutrons, which gives me that total mass there. And let's compare that mass of the individual nucleons to the actual mass of the helium nucleus. And you can see that the nucleus is indeed lighter. So the difference between those two numbers is the mass defect. If I was to bring those nucleons together, making a helium nucleus, they now have the same mass. So calculate the mass defect for uranium-235, give your answer in AMU and kilograms. That's the mass of a proton, that's the mass of a neutron, and that's the actual mass of the uranium-235 nucleus. There. Alrighty, so the mass defect is the mass of the individual nucleons Uh, that's protons and neutrons and nucleons, minus the mass of the nucleus. This should be lighter, since when the nucleons come together to make the nucleus, energy is released. So what's the mass of the individual nucleons? Well, uh, I've got 92 protons, because the atomic number for uranium is 92, and that's the mass of a proton. So I've got... 92 times 1.0073 AMU and I've got 235 minus 92 neutrons. The difference between the atomic mass and the atomic number is the number of neutrons. So that's 143 times 1.0087 AMU and all that is minus the mass of the nucleus which is given in the question. 235.04393 AMU. So what does that come out at? It's 236.9157 minus the 235.04393 and I think I'm going to run out of space. And that gives me a final answer of 1.87177 AMU. Now let's just check the decimal places because I'm adding and subtracting here, I'm going to need to go with the least number of decimal places in my answers. So this has four decimal places, four decimal places, five decimal places. So my answer is going to need to have four decimal places. So one, two, three, four. So in fact, that goes, and that seven is rounded up. So that would be my answer in atomic mass units. Now, I also want it in kilograms. And so using this part of the data booklet, page two, you can see that one AMU is 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. Alrighty. So to convert this into kilograms, 
1.8718 AMU multiplied by, well, it was 1.66 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms was 1 AMU. The AMUs are going to cancel now, giving me kilograms. So that comes out at 3.107 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. But we're not quite finished. If you're doing multiplication and division, your answer has to have the same number of sig figs as whatever part of the question has the least sig figs. So this has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 sig figs, 1, 2, 3 sig figs. That looks like it's got one sig fig, but no, no, that's actually infinite. It's exactly one. So it's infinite sig figs here. So this is the lowest number of significant figures, 1.66, three sig figs. So this needs three sig figs, one, two, three. So that goes, and the zero is rounded up to a one. And there's your answer. Sad to say, I, without any preparation, I actually know the lattice energy of this. It's... 771 kilojoules per mole. Oh, God, I've got to get a different job. Might have a look.